everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as a democratic UK, but a UK that will become different in the future, at least ideologically. So, we actually had quite a few comments yesterday. First one was that I did not know that the UK is actually a unitary parliamentary republic. I did not know that. That's a form of government that I was not very aware of. And it is both right now in our timeline, or at least 2019, as well as in the game 1937, at the moment, a unitary parliamentary republic. That's very interesting. Or at least I think it is in 1937, a unitary parliamentary republic. It's just so much easier to say. Just make it a constitutional republic. So much easier to say. But regardless, it's 1937, engineering, um, yeah, looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and get some better carrier planes. Ooh, what is this? Oh, enter. Oh, I'm making, hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and just make some heavy fighters. Yeah, they're not as good as other fighters, general fighters. But regardless, I think that's ultimately for the better because we will be fighting in a whole lot of different air spaces and we will need a lot of air support and air coverage for each of the C zones. So, uh, let's see. We are currently still trying to become more and more communist. And we will definitely need to enact mandatory union days. So, which will get less political power, less weekly stability, but more daily communism support, which is the only communist support that we will actually get because we get none at the moment. Now, we could reduce the amount of fascists in the country as well as un or non-aligned people by doing... Uh, banning fascism. Anti-communist raids probably wouldn't be a good thing for us. Um, institute? No, nah, that would not be very good either. I just want to become communist. Because once you're communist, then it's okay. Which kind of leads me into my next... Or the comment from yesterday as well. Uh, actually, you guys are pretty much done. I don't want the tank to train, so... Let's train the cavalry divisions for now. Uh, actually, before we go to the next comment, we already have... 20 with divisions, not bad. We can't make a ton of those. Cavalry divisions we have. I might convert them to tank brigades. Uh, let's do that. 25. Oh, Jesus Christ. 4, 5, 6. Cool. Uh, anyways, because this is vanilla Hearts of Iron 4, and this is not Kaiserreich, or even Führerreich, or any other Reich, or any sort of type of mod for Hearts of Iron 4 that has different, specifically different ideologies, we cannot go, as someone put, democratic socialist, anarcho-socialist, or even like stuff like libertarian, or anything like that. So we, the guy wants me to go democratic socialist, and I'll roleplay as a democrat or democratic socialist, <clears throat> even though the term that we have currently is only either communist, fascist, somewhere in between, which is very unspecific with non-aligned or democratic because our focuses or our foci only make us become you know non-aligned fascist communist or state democratic which we are not going to do which leads me to the next comment of having said we will be going for the good of the revolution but we will go with the british communist alternative i will not follow moscow as good as the russian revolution was for the people it really is not good enough for our people. They they faltered. They really did. The Russians and their allies faltered. And their version of communism, or socialism, so be it, just wasn't cutting the mold. It's just not quite right. It doesn't guarantee the rights of the people. All the people. All the workers. And we, we obviously are very egalitarian, and we will be going down with our own form of communism. Was, you know, communism with British characteristics, which might be democratic socialism. Uh, let's see, how are we doing actually in-game? We're getting a little bit more oil. I don't mind conserving a little bit more oil at the moment. We're still building up an oil refinery, as well as civilian factories. Oh, I'm about to sneeze, oh no. Come on, don't. Don't do it, don't do it. Uh, let's go ahead and get this, which gives more daily communist support, and lower the cost of everything else. Which actually really sucks for your stability, because with lower stability, you get less political power. Huh. But we still get 1.1 a day, which is pretty good. I mean, that's why I went with Philip Kerr, who is a 
democratic person because once you go communist, I will lose this guy. So we'll get less political power. Oh well. Let's see. We are currently helping our dominions towards more independence. Which will ultimately lead me to the last comment about this series thus far. Uh, actually, what the heck? Uh, you guys should go here. Coast Guards. I really don't need you to focus too hard on this. Actually, let's lower it by one. Because uh, I really want these guys to be prioritized. I have at least a full stack of 24 um, div infantry divisions. So the last comment regarding Dominions is that when I do take out Ireland, so the person, the commenter, said that I should not puppet them, but instead just liberate them as a fully independent communist or socialist nation. Well, that is my end goal idea. I will need a little bit more military support to help liberate other countries in their pursuit to become more egalitarian. Oh, and German Reich dominates touch trade negotiations have expanded their influence over the Netherlands to the point where the Dutch government has felt forced to favor them in the current trade. What? What? I just did this. This currently amounts to 310 political power. Well, just give us 17 days. We'll be ahead of you guys anyways. Ooh, or Dominion de Independence. That being said, I will, once I take out Ireland, I will keep them under my administration for a while, just because I'm, I will need more factories. But eventually, I will liberate them as a free communist nation. I don't want to do this because I want to hold on to Gibraltar and Ireland as far as long as possible. Even though it will kill my stability, I will need I will get more manpower, but I need the factories, as many factories as I can use at the moment. Foundations for an Indian state will give us more political power, though. That will be good. Even though, let's see, BSA. Oh, we could produce more guns. I need, do I need more guns? Not really. Honestly, I'm, I'm okay on guns. Secret weapons. So this is pretty much locked behind the Tizard mission, which you have to be with the United States. Um, general rearmament. That's with 10% or more world tension. Uh, British austerity. Interesting. Special air service. Blah, blah, blah. We can kind of ignore that stuff. We pretty much just are going with decolonization at the moment. All oh, right. That's good. Uh, because of our fo fo focus, we get more political power. Uh, I'm not going to grow rubber plantations in Nigeria because we're not going to keep Nigeria. Down here. War propaganda. Oh, let's get some better. Let's build faster. I want to definitely build stuff faster and faster and faster. Because right now, we're almost done with the refinery, which will help us with... with extracting more fuel. And... one more rubber, which we don't really need rubber at the moment, but we will when we liberate many of our colonies and stuff like that. Alright, depth charge thrower. Very cool. Oh yeah, we definitely want that act active sonar. And better subs. Subs will be important. Very important. Uh, it's 1937. I can I can afford this. I can afford that. And we have five research slots, so that actually kind of helps out quite quite nicely. All right, two days. Come on, British dominate Dutch trade. They're only up oh, it by. Uh, do it again, just because I don't want the Germans to win. Even though I did say this isn't really important. Whatever. Ooh, excavation. Very cool. So that actually did help probably with a little bit more oil. And what are we going to research next? If we get this, because we get a bonus from Canada. It takes 142 days. Uh, oh my gosh, improved ship. Oh, I, I have to have better, better torpedoes. Torpedoes are just... Torpedoes are probably one of the most powerful things in the naval meta right now. If you follow Feedback Gaming on YouTube, he's an extremely good YouTube Hoi4 player. And his videos are a little, I guess maybe I would say a little bit more clickbaity because he'll put things in the title like oh torpedoes are broken and stuff like that but you know no shame on him or anything like that no diss on him it's just you have to look at his videos for quite a while before you get any sort of help where I don't really make helpful videos too much or tutorial videos I should say videos are always helpful right but if I'm going to explain something I'll just make a completely separate video than a campaign like this like my naval invasion video when like a year ago year and a half ago or something I'll tell like, this is exactly how you navally invade. I remember that. Someone had a couple comments on that. Oh, this will, if I do pass minimum wage increase legislation, uh, let's see. I'll get more communist support, less factory and dockyard output. Oh, oh, something happened. And this will also lower this stuff as well. Um, Let's see. Well, I am... Oh, we are really not even becoming... 
Any more communists? What is this? Ah, oh, mandatory union days. Support of trade union construction workers. Oh, construction safety regulations. That's not good. That's really not good. Regardless, so we're 40.81%. So, we're 41% of the way. Close to side. Oh, oh, nice. Awesome. 1937. It's almost 1938. And this world will be very different than our normal world. Just because it is on a historical for those of you who didn't watch the first video. Um, 37, 37, oh, strategic destruction because our current commonwealth research bonus is 40%. Better detection. We want to bomb the living hell out of enemy factories. Well, I don't do that. I prefer close air support or tactical bombers, which I'm thinking in this campaign we'll probably go with tactical bombers. <clears throat> just because we will have to invade probably America eventually, which will be very difficult, as well as the Soviet Union and... So we're not just fighting in Central or Western Europe, really. I'll probably go with Operational Integrity. Uh, naval Doctrine, we should probably focus a little bit more on. Uh, let's see. Extraction, though, we have a bonus. There's so much I want to research, but we can't do. Ooh, this is really good. Torpedo Destroyer and Submarine Torpedo Attack, plus 20%. Very, very good. This stuff, the armaments you can research during the war, which will automatically apply. Fire Control Methods, same thing. Uh, what else do we have here? Magnetic detonator, like I just explained. Super heavy battleships. They're okay. Battleships are generally better because they cost less and you can produce them a little faster. Uh, let's get active sonar. And yes, I do know that I have another one I need to do. Tactical bomber. You're right here. Interwar fighter. Very good. Uh, let's see. Carrier fighter. Sea gladiator. And for one more research thing. Engineering. Earth. It's, this will take a while, but extracting a, few, a little bit more resources could help extract more resources when we will need them in the future. All right, can we dominate some more of this trade? Oh, we're equal with the Germans right now. Promises of peace. Yeah, no thanks. More stability, though. We're already pretty stable. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pass minimum wage. So how much more? So before we hold a referendum, we need one, two, three more demands before we can hold or the referendum. These are great and all. I love these, but... And I really want more weekly war support. But... Hurting my output right now is okay if we go with this. And this will do does lower everything. Limit conscription. So we can not get more manpower in the next year. Ooh. That does not sound... Too favorable. There we go. And, of course, that won't do anything for me. Alright then, whatever. Very cool. At least get us 24 divisions at one time. Uh, da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Let's speed it up just a little bit. Nice. We're at 90 versus 85. Very good. I want to make sure I dominate that stuff for now. Since I've already invested in it, I might as well keep doing it. Might as well. Six. Barely getting any army XP, which is fine. We don't need a ton of it. How are these? Oh, the horses are good. Go ahead and retrain. I want to get as much as I can for now. Um, let's see. Cavalry. Yeah, cavalry's okay. We have six of these. I'm going to need motorized divisions to help balance this group out. So it's going to take a while. Let's go ahead and train a little bit more of our fleet here. You guys are pretty good. Stop doing that. Go ahead and repair. I will send this group to not do anything because they're good. You guys definitely need to train and I'll send you guys out as well. And that'll drastically reduce the closeness of us trying to have max fuel capacity. And go ahead and send... Who are you? Oh! Extra destroyers. Very good. I have quite a few extra destroyers. The subs could definitely train as well. Do that. They're not great subs. If they get injured, I'm not really too worried about it. Uh, you guys need an admiral, though. Oh, foundations for an Indian state. Very cool. Very, very cool. Let's see. Navy retreat. Retreat, uh, when retreating, retreat de decision chance. Ships in first contact, Ironside, naval, da, da, da. eh, it's not bad. Does anyone have a sea wolf? Ironside, probably not. Naval AA attack, capital ship attack, spotting chance. Naval AA, well, not really. This guy's an old guard, he probably won't be very good, but he does get more speed, which you want with your submarines, because they are, are they fast or are they not fast? They have 19. That's actually not that fast. That not that fast at all. 
But if you upgrade them with better engines, that might be better. And they, they will do more damage. Uh, I wish I had a sea wolf, so I'm going to go ahead and do this guy just because he gives them a little bit more speed. And happy 1938, everyone. It is finally 1938. Not going to do any of that stuff. Let's go back over here. Foundations for an Indian state. Let's see. British Raj gains three nation solution. They'll release Bangladesh. They'll become my puppet, as well as Pakistan towards Indian independence, which would give us a ton of political power. Holy cow. Uh, let's do the three nation solution first. Just because that'll automatically disempower the Raj and empower Bangladesh and Pakistan. And we will have to do this eventually anyways. Well, we don't actually have to do this at all. Hmm. Which would be better? This automatically gives us more political power and manpower. Eh, let's do it towards Indian independence. If... The Raj is liberated without Bangladesh or Pakistan. First of all, that'll help the lag, eventually, in the long run. As well as, uh, make the Raj overall more powerful. Oh, oh yeah, let's go ahead and limit conscription, since that doesn't really hurt us too much. And then we can increase conscription in a year. Oh, we're 52% communist already. That's great. That's really great. Wow, the Conservative Party just... It feels like modern day, the Conservative Party has been, as far as an American goes, or sees, kind of not very strong, or at least there's a lot of opposition. Regardless, I'm not, you know, a Brit from the UK or anything like that, so... Uh, we definitely should be able to switch to communism soon. We will have to do pass increase and paid leave legislation. God, where are they getting all this money from? And which will hurt us even further with less factory output and dockyard output. Which is fine. And I think we can still do this stuff as well. Let's see, we currently have 1.15 political power a day, which is great. Uh, I'm actually probably going to do this. We get 5% more stability and more weekly war support. Which we will need when we might invade other people. Maybe. You didn't hear that from me. What, I, what am I doing? Oh, 1938. Uh, yeah, get better research speeds. And then, let's see, so we've finished up the refineries. It's 1938, we really will need to start building some more military factories as well as dockyards. So that's a good place. Northern Ireland, I will lose Northern Ireland eventually. Let's do that, and then... 70, 70, 70, 70, 70. That'd be fine for now. 101 factories really isn't very much. But if you take over quite a few small states to begin with, that's okay. Uh, withdraw from naval treaties. Actually, I would like to do that. Bannon's naval treaty. Anschluss of Aust Austria. That's... Hello, Germany. You're kind of th getting kind of big. Oh, 1936 sub hull. Synthetic rubber. MEFO bills. Uh, radar is actually, actually very important because you now build radar on your ships, which helps you, in my opinion, very immensely. It helps you with where the enemy ships are located and can probably kill them even faster than before and get better positioning overall at least in my opinion I'm not extremely good on the hard numbers here but that is of my opinion yeah I'll just go ahead and get better radar uh, let's see uh, let's go ahead and send out another group to train as well 10 more subs these guys will be good 10 more destroyers I mean these guys will be very good for convoy uh, escorting and adding to the British patrol fleets. Actually, did we just... No, that's not it. No, we did not. We still have only one carrier here, which is fine. Battle cruiser, huh? Mm, you guys are good. You guys are good. You guys are not really that great. Actually, make sure I turn all this stuff on. Go ahead and train as well. Uh, yeah, you all have that. You all have this on. That's good. Just make sure you automatically split them off. We are still gaining more oil, so I am totally okay with more training. In more than five years, we will lose our stockpile of fuel. Fine with me. So be it. Totally, totally, totally fine with me. Alright. Ah, active sonar. Very good. That's pretty much all you need for your destroyers. I mean, sure you get depth charge mortars, which are extremely important. Holy crap. 563 days. It is 1.86 years ahead of time, but wow. Wow. 
Um, better guns, because you never know when you might need better guns and tactics and strategy. Uh, Indian independence. This way Gandhi won't be so empowered to be pissed off at us. 30 more, come on. Yeah, let's just keep dominating this trade with the Netherlands. Well, let's see. Anything else? We will need to pass, increase, and pay leave legislation. Yeah. Alright, so has anything else happened in the game? I mean, we have the check on time, but they're not really doing much. It will be very interesting to see, though, very soon, how Germany will react to maybe demanding the Sudetenland. Because if you didn't know, the Sudetenland actually has quite a few Germans in it that were originally part of the Austrian Empire, or the Austro-Hungarian Empire. But, we'll see what happens, since Austria is no longer with us. Self-mediation, self-mediation. I'm doing all these 70 days once. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Oh, we can't do this. We actually have to be the ruling party, not just 50% of the people want communists. We actually have to have the ruling party to become, or do those things. Uh, three-nation thing, Emma Bob. Hmm. Honestly, we can kind of skip this. Pakistan. There's a puppet. Well, that would be good, overall. Uh, for, you know, we really don't have to do this. I mean, they'll become my puppet. But just because you become my puppet doesn't really mean anything. Um, and you to do decolonization, all you need is this one and this one for Asia and Africa. So let's skip the three-nation solution. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to liberate the Raj as best I can. And... Oh, wait, we can go with partial... Oh! This is actually will be even better so we get more fuel, more fuel faster military construction speed oh yeah I have to do that oh yeah that's better that's definitely better but you know if the Raj is fully liberated so be it and they decide to have a civil war not my problem um, let's see they get more fuel that's good definitely getting more naval XP can I oh we can build better subs yes Max out those torpedoes. Mines, I don't ever use mines. I don't know why. It's just mines never really interested interested me that much. Carrier hulls. I can upgrade carrier hulls. Let's see. Better engine. We already have a better engine. Oh, better secondary guns. It's better light attack and piercing, which you really shouldn't do with that. Uh, Mark 1. Oh, it's too heavy. No. No. Uh, regardless. Cruisers. I definitely want to switch this up. I want you to not have torpedoes, but be very good for anti-air aircraft capacity. Wait, what is this? This is a... Yeah, I think this is the rapid fire gun. It is it currently a light cruiser battery too, which is good and fine. Uh, this needs to be switched to secondary batteries. This needs to be switched to radar. I don't want sonar. Subdetection is okay, but that's subdetection is for... Um, destroyers. Yeah, destroyers. This I don't ever do this because I don't want my reliability to go even lower. Even though this does give you more anti-air and whatnot. Let's see. That's good. Armor. Better cruiser armor will make it just slightly slower, but does give us more armor and HP. Save that for now. And then I don't want to do this because this kind of hurts our stuff. Saved it. Oh, I didn't save it, but I did that. Uh, anti-air. That's not too bad. I, want to do, I don't even have depth charges, so I can't even attack subs. Even if I can detect them, I don't have any depth charges. There's no point for that. All right. So when this cruiser is done, that'll be good. I know this cruiser is already halfway being done, but tough. Oh, and we can upgrade the next carrier when it is made. Uh, so we'll wait for this cruiser to get done. Wait for things to get finished. We use our naval XP very well. And I will have to make some sort of capital ship. I think I'm probably going to make a good battleship, but I need to get rid of this clause. This uh, London Naval Treaty signatory crap. Ugh. Why? Oh, how is... Oh, we're definitely ahead of the Germans, which is good. But yeah, we definitely want to do a pass, increase, and paid legislation leave. Because we only have less than 60 days to do this. Oh, are we done yet? Nope. We're getting close. We're getting closer and closer. More infantry. Very good. Excavation 2. Awesome. Um, artillery, we could do that. We will probably do that eventually. More infantry. Good. 
Ah, oh, good. Communist Revolutionary Infantry Divisions. And, oh, we no longer get effects from construction safety regulations, which... That hurt our construction ability. Awesome! Withdraw from contested areas, so that actually wasn't awesome. We only have 99 factories now, so we lost a bunch of places. We lost stability, but we gained some manpower back. Up next is either the Middle East, Americas, Asia. Oh, I do not want to liberate Africa too soon, but I don't mind doing this one. Release Malta and Cyprus, because you don't really get impacted by that too much. And since we were doing that, go ahead and leave Ireland, which is why I didn't want to do this too soon, but whatever. Um, so close, so close. Let's see, that's the only one that's affected. Awesome. Come on, it's almost... And we did it! We got a better carrier hole. No! Oh, I didn't realize it, but... Uh, 9,522 weight or production. Oh, God dang it, I should have realized that. I can't make the next better carrier. God dang it. And that's why I'm not making the next ship as well. Mark 1s. Battle, battleship Armor 2. Oh, but look at all the stuff that needs to be upgraded here. Since it's already over the production cost, I'm going to go ahead and just build whatever I can. Heavy Battery 1. Definitely Heavy Battery 2. Over here, uh, I don't mind these. These actually give you better surface detection and sub-detection, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, I really don't focus on anti-air too much on these ships. Get even better heavy batteries, which will make this ship slower, but give us quite a bit more heavy attack. And we have enough heavy piercing at the moment. We can penetrate our own armor. And we already have a little bit of anti-air, so that's not too bad. I just want to make sure that these battleships... Uh, if I do this... Uh, this is really going to hurt the speed. But give us so much heavy attack, it's not even funny. And use up all of our thing right there, so... Yeah, it's really regrettable that we had to sign a god dang deal this terribly. Why did we even sign this? Let's see, uh, let's see, for this, breakthrough, blitz. Yeah, this side still isn't that great. And we lost our benefits to supporting the trade unions. But we're doing pretty well, I would say. Pretty darn well. Cruiser holes we want to swap out. Increase this, so we even lose even more benefits to our output. Oof, but we're definitely communist. We are definitely communist. Do we need more artillery, though? Yeah, we definitely will need more artillery. Which is fine. Tanks. We will need more tanks when we go with medium tanks. Ugh. Can any ships... Do they, any ships need upgrades? Oh, this carrier will need an upgrade. But we can't do it because the design's overmaxed. What is this? This is an early ship admiral class. Can't do this. We can do this. If we do this, we get less speed, but we get overall better... Better ratings overall. 103 days, Jesus. Well, since no one's repairing. Oh, but we are trying to repair everyone else. Eh, that's not worth it. That's really not worth it. But destroyers, they repair Mark 1s. This will give you less max speed, just by a little bit, but definitely more sub detection and anti air. And that takes 7 days, isn't bad. I don't mind doing that. Keep producing carriers. Uh, keep doing that. Yeah. They'll be done eventually. Let's keep going, keep going. Oh, we can hold the referendum when we have 100 political power, basically. So that'll be great. Self determination for the Mediterranean. Awesome. So, uh, government for South Africa. I don't want to release South Africa just yet, so let's go with the Middle East. I'm definitely going to lose a lot of oil here, uh, which includes Jordan. Palestine or Israel, blah blah blah. I just said that the I word and the P word, and I probably get to monetize if I ever monetize my videos, which I probably will someday, but definitely not any day soon. Uh, if I need to build something more, I mean, I just feel so limited building sh ships that are just outdated. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. No, no. Um, but regardless, the show must go on. We're building. That's why we're building a bunch of destroyers. A couple light cruisers, hopefully. Yeah, because these are definitely okay. They're not bad. Mm, I need capital ships to subs. And we... Eh, you know, subs aren't bad. They're good for killing convoys. Ah, uh, God, what? I already have enough subs, I think, in my opinion, for now. Build some of these boys, if we can. 
Yeah. Because we are trying to make these, but since we don't have any more... Oh, we're already trying to make... Oh. It's hard to make decisions. When you really want to make a lot of good decisions, we're already making cruiser holes, or supposedly making them. Just make some goddamn subs. And put you in... Where's a good place? Not Sussex. Yorkshire. I'm totally going to forget about you guys. Ooh, better radar. Industry. Fuel gain from refiners will be very, very important. Let's do that. Gotta wait for that. Let's see this. We'll do this just because we gotta continue trading with the Germans. Or the Dutch, I mean. Yeah, screw the Germans. The Dutch are who we really want. Material. Drake lands. Tungs and ooh. Better weaponry. Awesome. And. Yeah, it's, oh, who did this? Dominion of Canada. Well, we won't have them forever, so we might as well do that for now. And we finally have another infantry division. A regular infantry division. Who will be under reconnaissance? William Slim. Hello, William Slim. Which I want you guys to continue training since you have a few more guys there. Wait, we have... Uh, just leave and come to Liverpool. Liverpool, you shall come to. Uh, upgrades? Yeah, we're going to see that button forever just because it's of this guy. Alright, come on. I want to become communist before we end the episode here. Uh, which we will, because we're going to get more political power. 33, 34, and 35. Self-government for the Middle East and for the Americas next, which is fine because everything in America, in the Americas at least, isn't super powerful. Awesome. Let's hold the referendum, everyone. Actually, before we do that, let's take a look. So we have Egypt, led by Farouk Muhammad Ali, who is not aligned. Of course, they are our dominion. We have Jordan, led by Abdullah bin Al Hussein, not aligned. And then we have Democratic, split up very interestingly, and it's by the P word called Palestine. Sorry, Israel, you lost out this time. Uh, oh god, we got Kuwait, we've got the UAE, we have the Republic of Qatar. Oh, this game, I can already tell it's going to lag so hard. We already have the Republic of Cyprus and Malta, which has a quarter of a million people. All right. And now we shall hold the referendum. As socialist support has soared, we have no choice but to accede to the trade union's demand for a referendum. The outcome is all but a foregone conclusion. And before we do this, we will remove the trade union factory demands and mandatory union days and re-enables increasing the conscription laws. Uh, and we'll get communist demand referendum. Let's see, what is trade union factory demands and mandatory union days? So, factory demands, so we'll lose the factory demands and the mandatory days. So we'll get more political power, more weekly. We won't lose weekly stability, but we won't get any more daily communist support, uh, which is more than fine with us. Let's do it. Oh, Marxist ideas took root in the UK a long time ago, but have gained much more widespread support lately. The movement has spread outside political theory and into political practice with disgruntled workers and even some high-profile celebrities voicing support. The communists call this class consciousness. The conservative party call it a fast track to riots and treason. Showing little faith in Neville Chamberlain, who has faith in Neville Chamberlain anyways, being willing to implement the referendums or reforms, my apologies, they demand, the more vocal communists have called for an immediate referendum to have the current government removed. While we might be able to reverse the momentum of this mass movement, failure to do so will doubtlessly or doubtlessly, result in more popular communist method of removal. A revolution! So, we lose a little bit of stability. We've got a nice new flag here. And we still have concessions to the trade unions, which I will immediately go ahead and click on this one again. Trades is all the other supports, so we can keep building, 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 building. Wait, we can cheat on treaties. Oh my goodness! I did not realize that. Oh, we can just abandon it. Uh, if we abandon it, that will allow everyone else... Uh... If we abandon the treaty, that means everyone else can build as powerful ships as they want. Max out production. But if we cheat, we can be a little bit more powerful while limiting everyone else. Interesting. Regardless, though, that is where we're going to end it here today. We have Henry Pullet as our leader, plus 10% factory output, and plus 15% ideology drift defense. We are finally communist. we got a lot of subjects which will be liberated very soon, and I hope that you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new here. Like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like the video, like the video anyways. And I will see you tomorrow as we get into 1939 and see if we can um, spread uh, our good, faithful, worker-friendly ideology elsewhere. Thanks for watching, everyone.